I, I think uh, one thing inspires to another thing, and then it just takes its own uh, way, I guess. You know, when, when you start doing like um, a riff or a melody, I usually know what's going to happen afterwards. Oh, this is going to be the part that comes in. It's like a comfort zone kind of thing. So uh, on this album, I actually took my time to not repeat myself and go in the same way as I normally do. So I, I really tried really hard to, if I was thinking right, then I took a left, <laughs> you know, just because of trying to get out of this comfort zone and, and really try to do something new. In, in my terms of words. I mean, in general, I mean, space is huge, you know, there's so much shit out there that we don't know about, you know. Uh, so it's, I mean, I've always been fascinated with anything that's not standing still on this planet, you know, like planes and all the way up to planets and, and uh, galaxies and shit like that, you know. It's just, it's just very interesting because you never know. There's no proof of anything. You know? There's no proof that it is people existing, but still there, there is no the opposite either. You know? So I mean, it's just a cool thing to get my mind off music. You know? It's kind of influenced by two things. A friend of mine said, why don't you write a song about absinthe? And I said, I don't know, I just had bad experience about it, you know, and then I was like, click, okay, that was a good thing. So, um, it, it's really about this guy that gets this kick, you know, that absence has in it, you know? and um, he lives for it, kind of. You know? And my experience with it is that the whole band got beat up one night on the day off in Leipzig. from sitting a whole day drinking up in this up sin bar. So uh, I guess uh, that's a different view of seeing it as well, you know. <laughs> to not do the same thing as I always do, you know, that was the biggest challenge. When I found an acoustic guitar in the studio, I started to play a little on that and I kind of wrote songs just by picking it up, you know. And start fooling around with it and um, I don't think I ever had an acoustic guitar on any of my recordings that I did in my band so but that influenced me to do different things you know and also with the, the orchestra parts and stuff that opened, opened the new door as well for me.